Hey everybody, we're sitting and sipping with Jaina Ortiz. Hi. You may know her from Rosewood, you may know her from Station 19. <laughs> I know her as Jay, she's a dear friend of mine and I'm so happy that you're mm. sitting and you're sipping with me. Thank you. So um, I'm just gonna do a little flash session with you. I think I just yeah. did I splash myself. <laughs> I got myself good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a little flash session with you. So I have some flash questions that I wanna ask you, um, just to get a little bit more insight into you and how you look at the world. Okay. Okay, so first, your holy grail skincare product, because skin be popping on Sunscreen. Station 19. Sunscreen. 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 It's care for your skin. Mm -hmm. You can ask all my friends. I reapply. Mm -hmm. I'm like obsessed with it. It's disgusting. Which one do you use right now? Anything that has zinc in it. So the one I'm using right now is Ulta MD. Okay, mm -hmm. and you like that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Love it. Ulta MD. We're making a list. Okay, makeup trick that always works. I have so many makeup tricks because I used to be a makeup artist. Um, that's how I paid for my acting classes. For real? Like, I worked at MAC. <laughs> yes. That's how you paid for your acting class? I, I did not know that. I worked part time as a makeup artist at MAC. And for me, that's fine. We never used we never used the beauty blender, but I love the beauty blender. I I used to use the brush. Oh so yeah, I the, the foundation. Wait, wait, the brush with the sponge on it, or no, just no, no, the actual like, brush. like paint brush, foundation brush. Um, but now I I just love the beauty blender, and I make sure that it's always wet. Mm -hmm. I make sure that it's always moist. Those words are. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be saturated with either water or like a fixing spray. Yes. And that applies that it makes the foundation or tinted moisturizer or whatever you're using. It makes it more dewy it makes it look more like skin got it yeah so Always use have... a saturated beauty blender thank you i love it thank you the book that you're currently reading um a beautiful composition of broken oh who's that by i think that i think that's what the title is i may be wrong but that's by r h sin he's um, an author from new jersey and it's a book of Poetry. It's all of his poems. Oh, I love book. And he has a few books, but I've been obsessed with okay. it. Next mm -hmm. on my reading list. Okay, your fa your favorite vacation spot. Favorite vacation spot. I wish I had one. Um, uh, I would say I would say I don't have a favorite place. No, I don't have a favorite place because first of all, well, I first of all, you I've work all the time enough. You know, yeah. Right? But if I were to choose a spot, it would be with sand, clear water, sun, just sand and sun. She's basically sun. talking about the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands? I am dying <laughs> to go to the Cayman Islands. Girl, I'm gonna take you. Please. We're gonna go. Okay, so a person that inspires you and why? A person that inspires me is Yara Shahidi. I love following her Yay, on social media. I love that. I love Shout watching. out Yara. Yara, you're incredible. You're so inspiring. Her knowledge about pretty much everything mm. is is so impressive. It's a, it's astounding. It's so impressive. Yeah, it's really great, yeah, and it gives you hope for this next generation that's right, coming up. Yeah, right. Like I, I, I wish I would sh like she was my. I was the same age as her, so I can go to school with her. I love her. <laughs> she's she's incredible. Oh yay! We love you, Yara. Thank you. Okay, one thing that you are grateful for. Ah. Uh, you know, I've been blessed with the most amazing parents, and um, my mom recently passed, and I, I'm so grateful and blessed to know that for the 32 years of my life, she loved me. She did. So I'm grateful for the love my mom gave me because there's nothing like it. And if, you know, if anyone is, is you know, has had like someone, even, it doesn't have to be a parent, but someone who just loves you, genuinely loves you unconditionally, that feeling is whew, something to be grateful for, for sure. I love you. Yeah. Okay, I okay, know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> we love Daisy. Um, okay. Every morning you every morning I try to meditate for five minutes. Really? Yeah. I you know, some days I miss it and then I remember, but 
I, I try again five minutes in just to reset and not reset, but just to like, it's like a jump start on my day. You know, it clears my mind. It, it calms me down. It gets all the chitter chatter out. Is there a meditation app that you love? Yes. Insight Timer. Insight is, Timer? I swear by it. Yes. Okay. I'm going to have to download that. Do it. Do it. I love it. I love it. And so every morning you meditate, every night you... And every night I... The last thing I actually say before going to bed is thank you God for this wonderful day. Thank mm. you. I just, I like to give thanks right before I close my eyes. And even if the day is sucky, even if the day is whatever, crazy, chaotic, stressful, exhausting, thank you for this great day. Mm. That's good. I always girl. say wonderful though, even because wonderful is such a great wonderful day. Thank you for this wonderful day. Mm. What always brings you joy? My, you know, dogs bring my dog in particular, Angel. He's a Angel is a mess. He's a pain in the ass, <laughs> but he brings me so much happiness. Yeah, he's a good one. He he's so crazy we and so bad, but I love I love the way he makes me feel. Yeah, he's like my little best friend. Yay, mm -hmm. Angel. Okay, and what movie always makes you cry? The Notebook always makes me cry. Girl. I'm hopeless romantic. I know. Uh, that one gets you. It's that love story that just... But I mean, I'm yeah. pretty sure there are other movies, but just off the top of my head, that one makes me cry. That one does it. Mm -hmm. um, what is the greatest challenge in your profession? You're an actor. And so what do you feel challenges you the most just in this industry? Mm -hmm. Well, the show that I'm on, Station 19, is a one-hour drama, and so that requires 12 to 15 hours a day. That schedule can be life-sucking. It can just take everything out of you. Mm -hmm. And so I, my biggest challenge is to balance my work life with my personal life and make sure I'm doing things that make me feel normal, that make me feel like a human being. And, for me, quality time with my friends who are, are my family is so important. And, you know, sometimes my friends are like, you're starting work again. I guess I won't see you until I next know. year. Girl, that was me. I'm like, Gina, when do you start work? And I'm like, no. yeah, you're going to see me. You're going to see me because I'm going to make the time. I'm going to pencil you in and we're going to commit, even if it's an hour. Yeah. I just, let's, let's enjoy life. So, yeah, just that balance. Finding that balance is my biggest challenge. And what's one thing that you would tell your 20, 20 year old <laughs> self? Ooh. No. I mean, I would spend a day just coaching and, you know. Like so what, 20, what she was worried about, what she was worried about, insecure about, nervous about, frustrated about. How would you how would you advise her knowing now knowing what the next ten years would look like? I would say ultimately live freely, have fun, don't rush to get older, but also keep in mind that the the, the decisions you make right now will they will guide you and they will lead you into, you know, uh, a, a certain path um, and you just be smart with all the decisions you make be, mm. think twice about them don't just don't, don't just go crazy don't just YOLO it don't just YOLO it I mean YOLO but don't but caution, be cautiously optimistic when you YOLO <laughs> <laughs> like YOLO but wait a second hold on <laughs> wisely YOLO <laughs> yeah, yeah wisely YOLO because look and then at the end of the day look also don't worry don't worry little young 23 year old Jaina because everything happens for a reason you are where you're supposed to be and then 10 years later yeah it's it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay mm -hmm. that that's that's the name of your next book and if it's not you're okay, gonna write that book and it's okay to not be okay but know that it will always eventually be okay Mm -hmm. Oh, that just encouraged me. Oh, I love, I love that. that. <laughs> I, love I love that. Okay. Um, what's one of your fav favorite quotes and why? Um, I have it on my phone. Mm -hmm. 
It's by James Baldwin. Love him. Um, anything, not everything, not everything that is faced can be changed. Mm -hmm. But nothing can be changed Change until it is faced. faced. Yes. I love, I love that. that. I love that. I mean, yeah. you got you kind of have to think about it, but it, it makes it's so simple and it makes so much sense. I love it. That's, that's why I have it. Can I mind. can I ask you one thing based off of that? Now, this is the last question. Mm -hmm. What is one thing that you changed because you faced it? Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Um, one thing. Yeah. One thing. I mean, I know there are many, but if you yeah. can think of like that one climactic shift? Um, I would say, uh, looking inside, looking in here, mm. taking the time to really sit with myself, be with myself, and be aware of where I was in my life, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, um, and for for some time, I I brushed it off, I avoided it, I swept it under the rug. But when I actually took the time to reflect, do inner reflection work, that's when I was like, whoa. So you changed because yes. you faced yourself. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good, girl. Yeah. That's yeah. a whole entire sermon <laughs> in eleven minutes and forty five seconds. Thank you, babe. Thank, um, you. thank you guys for sitting in, sitting in with us on this uh, sit and sip. Mm -hmm. Again, this is Jana Ortiz, my girl. Um, I just want to celebrate her and lift her up in light and in love. Oh, love um, female friendships are very important to be, you know, cherished and and um, mm -hmm. and supported and encouraged. So. I'm grateful for you. Well, I'm double grateful for you. Since you're grateful for me, I mean, love you. I, I, there's so much to say. It's not the time. <laughs> um, it's all felt. Yeah, it's all, yeah. <laughs> I love you, girl. Okay. See y'all.